folks, Dave Schulke here with the Twin Home Experts. I wanna go ahead and show you a great tip that if you live in a condominium complex or if you're a management company or an HOA, this is a simple, simple thing that every building should do to prevent all the damages. We just arrived at this emergency with two units being flooded out in the bathrooms, okay? And the reason why is there was a blockage, a main sewer blockage in the common area piping. Look at that, folks. Massive amounts of sewage here. This is the stuff that was going inside the units above. Sewage coming from the units down over the car. All right, guys, so all that sewage down below pressurized back up into the these two bathrooms over here. This is the damage that those type of uh, sewage clogs do. Come on in. All right, because the uh, sewage was sitting in these walls for more than 72 hours, you could see that mold has already formed and the sewage water laying in, the, in between. That's why it's so important to open up walls because water does travel. And if you actually come on this side, you can actually, uh, mold is growing in there as well. So it's very important to open up the walls and do a treatment. We'll show you what that looks like. Uh, I'm gonna take this vanity out because it's made of particle board. And as you can see, how much water went in underneath this here. Also trapped moisture between the, the drywall in here that all got wet. So it's gotta get discarded in order to properly dry down and protect the indoor air quality. The other tip is uh, we like taking the supply line and looping them to the angle stops so you don't get any, any dripping. And in the drain, because we're in a condominium complex, there's units above, if there's ever a clog, it's going to come out of here. So we like to cap these off as well. And as you can see, we did the same thing with the toilet. We took the supply line. Um, we just take six mil plastic and then we uh, seal that off there. We get the sewer gases. It keeps the uh, su supply line uh, dumping into the drain. And you can see we peeled this, you know, how wet that got. It's just falling apart there. So look at how wet the back side of the cabinet was. All right, I'm going to show you our GM product here for mold removal. I'm going to do is just hit this real quick. This is amazing product. It soaks into the um, substrates of the material. Actually, just start dissolving. Come back here in about two minutes here and see what that looks like afterwards. All right, about five minutes later, you can see now uh, it's completely clean and sanitized. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, set up our dehumidifier. This is going to be the most important piece of equipment here. What this will do is ex extract all the moisture from the studs, and then after we get the wood and inside these walls dried down to a minimum of 20% we can come in here and start treating everything and sanitizing. With sewage we use an enzyme type of product 
That breaks down the bacteria, kills the viruses and all that. And then we'll set this up for about three days. Come back and do some moisture testing. This trick right here could have prevented all of that. Let me show you. All right, folks. So right here, we're at the end of the line. This is obviously the lowest point. But if this is tight, what's going to happen is the sewage is going to rise and then go through the wax seals of the toilet or the tubs or showers. So what I recommend in a building is have this as an automatic pop-off. So the sewage goes in the garage, preventing major damage into the unit. 